Hi, I'm Mary Gunn. Welcome to Fun University. Hello, I'm Mary Gunn, American Fun Founder and Head Professor of Fun University. Welcome to December. December 2020. <laughs> Well, Santa Claus know what's going on this year. I don't know. December 2020, scrapbooking trends and a year wrap up. Um, uh, I've been, I, you know, I spend a lot of head time in these classes. I don't always have a lot of physical stuff to show, but I spend a lot of head time preparing for these classes. And I end up with piles and piles of notes and thoughts, and then putting it together is the tricky part. But, um, Trends. We're talking about trends. And I I do have some thoughts about trends. Surprise, surprise. Um, trends are primarily just industry-driven things to do, things to buy. It's really, truly what trends tend to be. And, um, and that's okay because they move us forward and they get us uh, involved with new cute things and all that good stuff but that if you think about it a trend is generally industry driven so if they have a, as we would maybe say in the south if you've got a dog in that hunt you're going to um, be promoting something so since some of the trends are really cool and you know if it, i really like them i'm not putting down the industry the, the industry is awesome I love that they bring in all sorts of new ideas and all sorts of fresh um, looks. Uh, there's the color of the year. Different companies have them now. And the big one, I think it's called Pantone or something. Um, there's this blue, a really bright, almost cobalt blue this year. And so uh, I've, always, I've always taken a long time to get to a trend. And as far as clothing, this is from Costco. And um, so I... I I have to study things for a while. I'm not a quick, uh, I'm not a quick reactor. And uh, so I study things and try to figure out how I can make, why I would want to do that. And I overthink it. So I have overthought this and um, I'm going to try to boil it down. So trends are produced by industry. They have a dog in the hunt. They're telling, and they tell us by giving us new options, things that are going to look good. And there's something about seeing things over and over again that makes our eye more comfortable and more comfortable with things that we see. So um, we get used to it and we, and we go more, more readily into it. A um, couple things that are going trendy wise. Oh my gosh, scrapbooking. You know, the biggest thing, and this almost sounds horrible. I don't know, maybe it's horrible. But the biggest thing you can have any size scrapbook at this point you can have any kind of paper you can have all sorts of little do lollies you can have stamps you can have a planner now tan amy tan's planner um there's the little stacy julian books there's the medium stacy julia books there are the 12 by 12 books then there's my eight and a half by 11 books there are um there are traveler notebooks those are um usually long and skinny and just little binder type things you can do almost anything with scrapbooking but yet what i see over and over and from really great crafters often you know the people i'm meeting online with and i'm meeting some really strong crafters are they don't scrapbook so um so during my overthinking uh, I was thinking about this 2020 wrap up and I was saying this could be, if you don't do any other pages this year, do a 2020 wrap up. And that's what we're going to concentrate on in this, in this December, because it's been such a wacko year and we're not saying this is the best. <laughs> we could be, this could be good old days, but, um, at the same time, is there is a lot of weirdness that went on this year. And remember back in March and we were making our little daily notes and we're going, oh, this is so odd. This is so different. It was going to blow over. Here we still are. Um, so it's a, if you don't do anything, do a 2020 wrap up. 
And when I'm talking about a 2020 wrap up, I'm not talking about just COVID and all this garbage that is in the world. I'm also talking about, um, remember the, from the country days, the, there used to be people that would go around and sell these Bibles that were like this big and the families would keep their Bibles and they'd keep track of the deaths, the uh, um, birth. There weren't any divorces to speak of and I don't think they ever put them in there if they did. Um, things like that and there was a record of what happens. We don't have that so much anymore. Of course, we have Google and Facebook to tell us what happened, but those are kind of, um, you don't know what's gonna happen to them either in the future. So it's kind of a hard thing to rely on. But if you have a piece of paper with a wrap up of a year, um, someday it could be quite good. And that, something happened this week. Um, we had our first Thanksgiving outside. That was one thing, but, um, Doug was wearing a hat around the campfire and the kids were making fun of it because <laughs> it was really old. And Leah was saying, no, he's had it. He was going, I don't know where I got it. I found it once we moved here. And um, so Leah was going, no, 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 he had it. We used to have it when he used to wear it when we'd go skiing. And so, you know what they did? she did? She came roaring into the house and, and started going, okay, it's these years, where is the, where are those scrapbooks? And we found it, and we found a picture with him in that hat, and she was, she was vindicated. So anyway, um, I do have a, there will be a lot in the notes, but just, can you guys throw, I'll throw out some things that I think are worthy to save on one of these pages. Um, address, if anything big happened, marriages, divorce, or death in the family, um, we're animal people, so de for pets, um, address, if there was anything that you did particular into a house, it would be important to you and it would, would be cool to have. Uh, jobs. My son-in-law had three this year. He was just trying to, he'd had one for 10 years, got tired of it, tried something new, didn't work out. That's another story. And then, um, just started one the other day. So that's kind of a big deal. Joanna worked at the same salon, um, but was locked down out of the salon for months and months. Um, I'm just talking about my, just Joanna and Joel right now. Um, what else did I think of? But, uh, if you go to a church, a church family kind of thing, if uh, what, what that was like, that would be definitely something worthwhile. Let me see if I have something here. Um, I don't know. I have it started. That's what it is. I had it started in some notes to see if I go too fast and ahead of myself, I forget. Anyway, those are the kind of things where you work different, just kind of a catch all, put all the, all of your basic kind of stuff there and get it done. I think it's a great idea for a wrap up. So let's go down. I'm going to show you some of the current trends. Uh, I think Barb will like this. Um, do some of the current trends for scrapbooking. Let's see what I come up with. Okay, I have for my kit, my bin, I have two pieces of white paper. I've got gesso on part of it and I let it dry. This one's not quite dry, but this one's all, this one has gesso. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of, it has a different color white, but it's not very clear. It's got dog fur in it. <laughs> Surprise, right? But this one, you can see it right along there. Anyway, it's all dried. I got it all ready. I just used a big fat brush like that um, and some just regular white gesso, nothing fancy. And then I pulled, because you know, if some of these process videos, they'll start with something like this and they'll just start willy nilly painting. And I think that throws, a that kind of is confusing sometimes. And you go, oh, well, what they know what they're doing. They have a plan. Well, we have plans. We do have plans at Fun University. We have foundations. Birth, absolutely. That's a big deal, isn't it, Lee? So we have our foundations. So I just paint. Why not use, uh, if you're going to paint and a loose painting background, why not use the foundations to decide where you're going to be placing the, the paint. Like you could do this and then you could have your pictures over on this side or you could do this side, which I'm going to use 
and just put the paint there. And it's not nearly as nilly-willy as it may look. They've got a plan, I guarantee it. That is one thing that I pulled out. Then I went, and I'm going to use blues and grays. Um, then I pulled out some just, you know, some of these mixed media things are like five pounds, and I'm not going to do that. But I pulled out some just some chipboard things. I'm going to put those over there. And then I just pulled out a bunch of blues because I thought that Pantone or whatever that is um, stuff is the year, color of the year. So I thought, oh, we'll just do kind of stick with that. Uh, we have a thing about Joanna and the Moon Report. So I thought, oh, that would make sense there. And I just pulled out some blues and some grays that I can use for mats and for cutting and for strips and for cutting words out, for journaling, um, anything that I thought might be kind of a little bonus. So I'm going to have just, I won't use all of that, obviously. Thread is a real big th filler right now. Hey, Vicki. And um, so I pulled out a couple threads. I don't know where my white thread is. So I pulled out, a, oh my gosh, I haven't used this thread in so long, it's got dust on it. But I pulled out a couple threads that I thought might be kind of cool. They're just regular sewing thread, nothing fancy about them. I pulled out a couple stamp sets that I thought would be good for a end of the year kind of thing. And um, might do some tone on tone stamping with just months, you know, kind of a kind of a design there, um, a background design, so that we it we know that it's a whole year wrap up kind of thing. This one just had some little images. I just pulled it out. The story I. I don't know if I'm going to use that. That's really cute. So there's some really cute stuff on there. Just again with that same thinking on this, just using these little um, little things. And then those are just had some little, oh, house. I, I pulled that one out because it had house and we can talk about their cars. Um, highlight reel I thought was really good for a title. So anyway, I pulled those kind of things out. I pulled out... We'll just see how this goes tonight. <laughs> I pulled out a couple alphabet stickers because I had them and I thought, well, you know, that might be pretty good. The Right now, the trend that I can see in this style usually doesn't have a big title. It's kind of a small title and often scripty, but we're not probably going to do that unless I scripty write it. So, which I might do. I scripty wrote a card yesterday. Today? I don't know. Yesterday. So I've got this guy all prepped. I've got my water right here ready to go. I've got my watercolors and I'm going to be doing some bright blues and some grays. So let me pop this open. We'll get some color going here. I'm going to work in big sections. So I'm going to go ahead and just get some blue softened up. Looks like I still have some gesso in there. That's all right. Get some blue softened up. When I used to do oil paintings, oh, the worst thing in the world was when, because I would do it three hours at a time, and the worst thing in the world would be to um, have a large area that you had to then come in later and rematch the colors. Oh my gosh, it was horrifying. It was it was a hard thing for me. Okay, so we'll just start laying in some color. We're not going to do anything. It's gonna splatter itself. How about that? That's kind of cool. I don't. I'm not gonna go off the gesso too much because gesso makes it so the paint will sit on top of the paper a little better. It's still not going to prevent it from going into the fibers eventually, but it keeps it on top of the paper a little bit better so that you don't get quite the warping. But you will, you will get warping. But if you put it in a book and you flatten it out, it's all good, right? So, you know, and then that's a little dry brush. You can get it a little juicier. But, it, you know, if you do keep it a little from, from being quite so juicy, I can see there's some gesso there. If you keep it from being quite so juicy, you're going to have less buckling. Okay, I'm going to start working on a little gray. I think this is the gray I want. Oh, I'm going to get blue in it. Turn it down a little bit. 
And I'm going to just bring it in on the sides. Not. We are going to talk about colors for Christmas colors. Oh my gosh, there are so many. But it's, we're going to talk about theory this month in card class. I think it'll be kind of fun. May or may not look good. I don't know. We'll have to blot it off some. Get a little splatter going. Okay. Let me get a paper towel. I know where there is one. There's one right here. I forgot. I was thinking I was going to grab it, but no, no, of course not. She's taking all the color off. It is really buckling already, but it's okay. The other thing that's pretty popular are stencil that mixed media is with stenciling. So if you want to, you can think about adding, you, you can do paste with stenciling if you want, but you don't have to do paste. Hey, Russ, well, how, what do you think of my new graphics card? <laughs> pretty good. We, um, I have, I have this whole, you know, there's people that back you up. I've got this whole tech team that's just remarkable. Um, mostly Stephen does everything, but Russ is my other son in, that's in the chat room there. And he found, we, I don't know how they figured these things out, but they figured out that we needed a new graphics card. Well, for one thing, it, the old graphics card was old. And um, maybe that's why Eunice was showing up. So, yeah, it's pretty, well, you like, you like blue. So, anyway, um, so they put in a new, they, Russ found the graphics card, and Stephen put in the new graphics card, and so hopefully Eunice won't visit us until, for a long time. <laughs> I don't even want to put a date on it, that stinking woman. She's a stinking woman. So... I learned things it's a bit that I don't even know what I need to learn. <laughs> the old card was summoning Eunice. I got a feeling that was her the her home. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care at yahoo.com. I don't remember that one. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, that's going to be my first page. We're going to let that one dry. This one I went ahead because this is going to be the big, the first, the left page is going to be my picture page of just two people and it's going to be like the five pound page. This one is going to be just the catch all for um, the, the facts, just the facts, bam. So we're going to go ahead and add some more paint. I'm not sure how I'm going to, I'm just going for it. This one's more grayish. I got some gray in my brush and that's okay. This is a backdrop. You know how I, I don't want the colors to be in the background to be the story. I want the memory to be the story. This is a backdrop. That I do not have plans on changing. <laughs> That's the big deal. Just using products is not a big, it's not enough for anybody to scrapbook. I don't very, very few it is not compelling enough to, to make somebody scrapbook because it is, it takes effort. I think the process is good though. We have a good process going on. I'm getting this pile wet. And I, I look forward to 2021 with, with continuing with the scrapbook club lab. Just want to when you do this kind of thing, it's it's really not hard. Bluebell, close to my heart, color of the year. Yes, that's kind of a grayish blue. The one that they were saying was Pantone or whatever it is, is more of a almost cobalt. That's a very pretty color. Bluebell is a very pretty color. And my grand cat's name is Bluebell. Very very old cat. <laughs> so. 
But she'll be on our page. She'll be on Leah and Nat's page. But look how bad that one's buckling. But I had it pretty soppy. So that happens. Get a little more gray. And I have no idea where the pictures or anything are going to be on this page. So this is just laying in some color, leaving some spaces on the edge. I can see where the gesso is, but not getting off of it too much, I don't think. And remember the thing with watercolors is it, it can either go super fast and be simple and you just go with whatever you get, or you can take off layers of it and keep working so you are happy with what you're going to get. This one is much more blue, and you know what? It's okay. I think that'll be, that looks kind of cool. I kind of like that. Kind of groovy. All right. So we'll let that guy dry off. But at the same time, I'm not going to let these guys go too far because I may want to use them again. So I'm not going to take them away, away, just a little bit away. <gasps> Bob Ross is here. Bob Ross is in the audience. Is there a reason to you use regular cardstock with gesso versus watercolor paper? Um, size, 12 by 12, pretty much. Um... I think that's about it. It's, I don't know if I have any 12 by 12 just, or uh, watercolor paper. I don't. That's pretty, I have 9 by 12. So another thing on that, you know what you could do, and I did think of this, very Bob Ross, oh yes, is you could like cut, use a foundation and use the paper um, numbers on, or the paper guidelines on this and then use the uh, watercolor paper for this. Yes. Oh, you can see my, yes, my stream deck. There it is. There it is. Those are all my buttons for right now. <laughs> for class. There's a lot of buttons even for this. Here's a good one. Hi. That's, I don't usually use that one too often. I forget about it. We also, oh, I'm getting distracted, but we also have one over here. And that's the wheel cam usually, but we added that and we made it a little bit bigger. Am I? And so that if I did want to do something over there, um, I could. So lots of, lots of things go on. This is, I'm going to dry it just a little bit because it's pretty wet. Yeah, my buttons include a fundamental um, recording. Russell named fundamentals. Um, a fundamental stop. A B right back button in case I have an emergency. A mute button in case I need to blow my nose. Um, student showcase is on here. Did you guys enjoy student showcase? It was short, but it was fine. I thought it turned out really good. I liked it. Okay, so this is, I just grabbed, I don't know if she's going to want me to use this, this particular picture, but I'm using it anyway. These are my Thanksgiving pictures. Do I have her? Yep, I just pulled one out of the Thanksgiving pictures. And I was going to go ahead and use that one. Aha, let's get it out of... There we go. There we go. But, you know, w since we're talking about trends, we're going to do this. Um, can you dry pages with a heat gun? Yes, you can, Lee. Um, you can. It's nothing too fancy about it. Oh, there's the other question. Um, nothing too fancy about it. You just... It's going to buckle anyway, but... You can speed it up a little. You sure can. So instead of leaving this like this, we're going to make it look more trendy. We're going to cut them in half. We're going to cut them into two smaller pictures. We were cold by the end of that night, but it was a busy night. But we got to be together, and that was what, what we wanted. So we had a nice fire that Stephen kept going. And, oh. Yes. Oh, let me tell you. I did a, a very, very strong uh, hostess with the mostest moment. Uh, at the end of the night, I went in and made snickerdoodles, which I had made earlier in the day, but I baked them and brought out hot snickerdoodle cookies. <gasps> Mom of the year. Sorry, girls. You can't have that title. I already grabbed it. But, oh, dear. I just knocked off the grill. 
put my foot in the fan. Hang on. It's okay. I've done this before. Sorry, little boxy. We'll just put that right there. My big feet. There we go. Okay, so now I have a... No, this is gray. I don't want that. I'm going to grab another piece of white cardstock. And just make some thin little mats because I just want to pop them up. I don't like... I don't like it when you try... This one's going to have a lot of stuff around it. And action right here down in the bottom with these pictures. And I do not want these little preciouses to get lost. So I am going to put a thin little mat. I'm also going to double it up some so that it goes a little higher. I was, I know some people use craft foam. I'm a little nervous about craft foam in the long run. Um, what is your question, Miss Sue? When I did your bricks, oh, you didn't feel like, you didn't feel the paper after the watercolor. Did I use too much? It didn't feel like, wait, it didn't like the feel of the paper after watercolor. When I did my bricks, I didn't like the, I don't know what the, what, what that would be. You didn't like the feel of it. Um, it does have a kind of a chalky, this, if you were using the close to my heart stamps, they are paints, they do have kind of a, they have a lot of pigment in them and they do feel kind of almost chalky. Yep. It's the paint. Some paints are more translucent. The, if you are using the close to my heart or the like a craft paint for beginners, it oftentimes has more of a chalky feel. So that it could have just been that. Pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I think that was probably all there was to it. But and it's just the paints are very simple sort of um the pigments get a little bit the pigments can be a little bit complicated bec because they're pigments and you have to get the right colors and whatnot but um paints are binder pigment and sometimes something else but it's pretty there it's a pretty simple thing it's just that so like with oils, um, you're going to have some oil binder in there with water. You're going to have some things that are good for water binders. I, you, know, I, you know, I'm getting in over my head because I haven't thought about it in a while. But um, I know I did a class on it, and I, I couldn't tell you the facts now, though. So I'm going to pop these guys up and change the subject before I get embarrassed. Anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I know I'm going to do this. I know I'm popping them up. But paints are truly, they're not, they don't have a lot of complications to them usually. That's funny. I never, I know that it is chalky, but I hadn't really thought that much about it. I just, it's just kind of like, well, that's part of the story. <laughs> so that's, so I cut this little, this was the, I cut a whole strip of a 12 by 12, right? And then this one, I just, trimmed the side a little bit so I don't have to worry about it being a perfect fit and having having a mess so I'm just going to add that a couple times on the back so he will have a little more height not a lot because you know I am not one of these people that like bulky things in my scrapbooks do not do not they mess with me And so he's not going to be sticking up a lot, just a little bit. Another, some of the trends with this though, right now, is want, putting them on wonky, using about two at a time, and layering them like so, and making them a little bit wonky with multiple layers of matting. So we're going to do that. It looks kind of cool. It's just that most of the time my scrapbook layouts are more built around a storyline. And this is more like a title page and a synopsis. It's kind of like the cliff notes of scrapbooking. 
So, I don't think I cut this one down. Did I? Yeah, I did. Oh, I, I beat myself. Didn't even know it. I'm putting another layer here. You guys get anything on the sales this weekend? Yesterday and Friday? I I filled my cart several times and it didn't do it. Thought about it. But your bricks were good, Sue. Every and Patty's bricks were cool too. You guys did a good job. So the, I, this is going to be one of those, one of those times too, where you don't want to get real fast and put start putting things down because um, it just doesn't work so well. So oh, you got a new mop and a vacuum for your kitchen. Cool. You bought the quarantine stamp set from Close My Heart. That was kind of cute. So I bet that you were very. Um, were very metered then didn't waste much at all on that too much traffic you wanted cards and envelopes but missed out ah fiddlesticks i saw this old bookmark that's going to be not work on that side i might put that in there oh it's got a rip on that side i kind of look groovy I thought that was a pretty flower, but I don't. One thing I did read on trends that big florals are coming back. Big florals, big florals. Thermometer and a blood oxygen meter for me, and one is a gift for my sister. Oh darn! I should have gotten a new. I should have looked into that. I forgot. I needed something. Uh, what I love most about my home is who I share it with. They're kind of cute little couple, so I thought that might be a nice little thing. Might make some tags. Um, tag tops. I think these blues are going to be fine. Blues, they're, they work. They're almost a neutral, I want to tell you. I do have some grays here I'm going to pop in. So, I'm going to take her out. And cut that so that it's a wonky background. There we go. Get it. And so that it's going to be part of it showing, not all of it. Do I want it going this way? Yes. This way? This is a big decision. And then I'll put something. Yep, I think so. I want that going down there. And I'll make that a little wonky too, and we'll put something else up there. We can add Something for Mr. Joel. I don't think I want this whole thing. I'm just going to cut it off. Kind of cute that way, though. Little thing sticking out. Okay. I got this scripty stuff over here. Thinking ahead adds a little more interest. I can think of, remember the rule of the little freezy thing? We don't want these guys up there too high. We're going to bring them down just a little bit, even though I like it above the fold usually for our first page. This is all we're going to have on it. It's only going to be right here. Um, so it's going to be, we could start up here. There's nothing there. It's going. Your eye is going to go to the action. If you had a lot of stuff up here, you would definitely not want it to, uh, you would want it to be more important than this. But we don't have anything else. We're just all going to be down here. So there's no reason to worry about um, having anything up there. It's just fine. I know we talk, I talk a lot about, we all read up there first. I'm going to just cut off a piece here and see how that looks. Maybe make a fake tag out of it. Fold it. Fold it like so.
have little things and that's oh that set her off really well Rip, rear bottle there we go and then maybe maybe one of those over here you still want to look for triangles of of patterns and i'm going to make this one a little bit shorter we you still want to look for triangles the visual triangles with patterns and colors and textures even though it seems like it's very very random willy-nilly it's not still has your picture will have a better visual feel if you have those things lined up okay that one didn't sit out so much though i want to set him off with a little something and this is where they start filling in. Oh, good, Connie, yay, thanks, you like it. Um, this is where they start filling in with some of the little doolollies. I'm gonna keep this side pretty, pretty neutral, I think. Not with anything too iconic that relates to their lives a lot. That's gonna be fine, that's gonna be fine. And then, where are those stamps? Let's put some of those on and see how it looks. Since I know that I'm not going to be doing anything else in here, I can add some stamps now. I do like the highlight reel. I do like that. But I don't think I would like it stamped directly on the page. So, but with the clear stamps and everything, you can pretend to get the feel on how you're going to do this. Might do a highlight reel to cut it in half. Right in there. And see this one's going to be pretty good. I can cut out some of these little things. Vacation and birthday, holiday, home, pet, vacation. What's that? And uh, gosh, I kind of... Doesn't that seem like a, a lifetime ago? Mm. And... But the one I was looking for is this one. So I think we'll just do a January to December kind of in the blues. Not sure. I might put it on some other blue paper. Ooh, we've got this nice little gray too. I might bring that in just a little bit. Oh, 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 wood grain, wood grain. We've got this little wood grain. Ooh, that's nice too. Um, Good January and then cut it out. Oh, cut it out. I love to say that. And let's just see. Let's just. My, I did have a plan, but it's pretty loose. And this is a, this is one of those. This is actually kind of a fun exercise. Um, you can plan this stuff in your planner. But then just really, uh, I did have some sketches. I did have this sketched as far as going there, knowing that I was going to do blues. I did have, it wasn't quite as willy-nilly as it may seem. I don't have a wet cloth, so I'm going to wipe that off with the clean water and then dry it on my, over here, I don't have anything wet. Oh, crafters, you're also creative. Okay, and then do December, and I don't know if I want to use this. This is a good thing to not stamp right on your on your paper, because you can get, then that's pretty permanent. Either you have to cover it up, January to December. <laughs> I'm using my big paintbrush. That's hilarious. What a goof. What a goof. There we go. And then, could, should I, could I, should I, in a car, should I, could I, on the, with a bar? Um, would that fit on there? Yeah. Okay, let's do the highlight reel. I don't want to use the same light gray. I am in danger here of violation with my ink pad right on top of that. Oh, I don't think I want, well, black might look kind of good. But charcoal might look kind of better. So let's go with charcoal. I don't know if I've ever inked this. So I don't care if it's a good image. 
I'm just not going to worry about it. If it's kind of, it looks like it's not going to be like real solid. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's it's got mealy mouth. It's kind of like mealy, very textured. I like it. Hard. It would be hard to uh, make that texture. Again, we've got that all dry. <laughs> there we go. That's so goofy. All right, so let's cut this guy out. Cut it out. And we can decide whether we want to trim it. It may be so light that it just isn't a problem. Yep. It's a wrap up, so that makes sense. Could cut this with, you know, another thing. I'll just, I'll just do it. I won't use my trimmer. I'll just do it because a lot of the trend is that you don't use the trimmers for this kind of thing. You cut it just with the scissors. Kind of fun idea in that it's pretty liberating. Pull those together. If they're touching, they're going to be a little more eye flow. Okay. Okay. I just had a thought. Wonder what it was. Um, oh, I know. Another trend is tissue paper. That was what it was. Tissue paper behind the pictures. So, let's stay on trend. And it's not going to be a tissue paper that is um, neat and tidy. It is uh, very rough and gruff. So, you don't have to worry about making it real great. Well, I wish that I hadn't torn it, but you know, here you go with this. I didn't like it being torn up so much that you don't see it. So you can take, it's tissue paper for Pete's sake. You can take things like that and just fill them back in. They, who's to know? You and me. And you're not going to tell. <laughs> I make it look easy because I overthink it for weeks. <laughs> uh, and, and just practice, practice, practice. Uh, you, it wouldn't be too hard to do this. To do, I don't want too much. I don't want Joanna getting left out here. So I'm going to go ahead and trim him down just a little bit. I don't want that straight either. You could do the, the tear thing if you wanted to on this with a ruler. So you get a more of an even tear, but I'm going for rough and rugged. Yeah, <laughs> you can. Yeah, you can. Analysis paralysis, right? Absolutely happen. Here's my little squeak. I just heard him. Oh my gosh. And Lee, I got I I to gotta tell you this. I went to look for pictures of me and, and Doug. No, I have like for every picture of me or Doug, um, I've got at least 20 to 25 pictures of my cat. <laughs> so you were saying that you had um, pictures of your cat. It's boy, we're all in the same boat. I think I'm going to, okay, here, I'm going to try something. You know, I'm going to keep, I'm going to pull this over and use this as my straight edge. It's just tissue paper. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'd give it a B minus because I'm feeling nice. I don't think it's a real good thing. Tissue paper is going to have an easy way to tear and it's going to have a, a reluctant way to tear. Do you hear my kitty? I think I'm at, woo -woo! Here's something that I don't have my phone with me, but here's something else that are, is real good to do at this point because I have a lot invested in, in placement is to take a picture of it. I may walk, I may do that. I may walk over to the other side of the desk and grab my phone so that I can re recreate it because I can't quite remember how I have everything once I take all this stuff off. 
And then it's right there. You don't have to worry about taking a picture and having it developed or anything. It's going to be right there. I know. I went over farther. Yes, that little kitty's in here. He's a big... He's eating us out of house and home. He's so... Such a... He's just growing and getting so big and fat. Oh, I've got... Steven, I have so much wire, I can walk all the way around the room. That's pretty fun. So I was I was thinking, oh, I'll do a page on Doug and me, but do I have any pictures of Doug and me? No, 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 absolutely not. So I'm going to have to remedy that. And then knowing that what I know, what I want of these guys, I'm going to have to fix that too. Leah is a, my other daughter is a photographer, so I think I might make her do her own pictures because <laughs> she'll know what she wants. And, um, and then she can just send them over to me. I can do them. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Ta-da! Now I have a picture to uh, build on. This guy, I think, is the very bottom. So... We'll put him on. I'm ready to. I'm ready to commit. And if it doesn't go exactly the way it was, it's fine. It's not. It's not going to be the same. I'm not going to worry about. It. Ooh, my gosh, that's different. Okay. And just like um, a page that we would be doing normally, quote unquote normally, um, we're going we're going from large to small. You like it, Vicky? Yeah, it's it's really pretty fun. It's very very fun, actually. I think I'll put this guy. That's too much of that stuff. And then the other page. Well, I don't. We'll get to next week, and I'll have some better pictures for it. You can at least see the whole process. And in the notes, I'm going to stick some things about ideas for information to gather. I think, like I said, this is this is the layout to make if you haven't. You're not going to make anything the rest of the year. This is it. You can, you know how sometimes some people say, <laughs> "You're welcome, Lee." Um, you know how some people say um, that one word thing. Allie Edwards, I think, does it. The one year word for the year, <laughs> and um, now is the time to be coming in and saying, "Now is the time to be telling that one word of the year." Because it's not the same word that I would have used at the beginning of the year. We'll make him a little one. I don't remember how that was quite. Was it? Okay, I did have him cover her up quite a bit. I'm not, not so sure I want to. Oh, I had this over farther, I see. Well, I don't know if I want all that over there now. But I do. I have that. I like it. I don't want her all covered up. She's, she's my daughter. Okay, so then maybe we just bring it down a little bit. It almost looks like his picture's different too. I know it's not. No, it's not. That wouldn't make any different sense at all. Um, tissue paper is not. It sometimes likes to tear too. So. Don't be too worried about it. Okay. Okay, we're going to put that down. There's some nice gray, too. But I, I was just going sticking with the blue. There we go. Maybe. She's getting aced out. I don't like it. Um, I'm going to rip that off. This is one of those reluctant tears right there. Didn't like it. 
real not a pretty tear. May get a little more action yet. Yep, I think it will. I think we're just going to do something like that. They both have Carhartt jackets. I tell you what, that's pretty good. See if his thumb wasn't sticking up, I'd make her come over him, but with that thumb sticking up, it just seems like he should be on getting Come on, don't leave me, don't leave me. There we go. Gonna get this stuck under there. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know if I need all that. I think I'll cut part of it off. It's almost like, I know that process videos are <laughs> sped up, but it almost seems like people, I don't know how long it, I don't know how long it takes them to scrapbook anymore. But they almost speed up themselves. Okay, let's put that little guy there. Instead of having that tucked under, I'm just going to cut it at an angle and have it just a butt pretty much right there. So it's not, not sticking up underneath. There we go. I will put it under the tissue. There we go. Nothing too fancy. Now, some of these people that do these kind of this kind of layout, they will have clusters that are like <gasps> that don't stop. And I just want to. I just, no, but it all it all ends up making sense. But at the same time, I I just will never have a five pound page. I have too many because my you know what we could do here. We can pull one of these ends shorter. Whoopsie, whoopsie. And use it somewhere else. There we go. Let's use it. Pull that color somewhere else. We can put it, I don't want it right there though. Maybe up here. Patty's got to go. Well, good night, Patty. Thank you for sh coming to class. I always appreciate you being here. I got some tissue paper falling up under there. That's okay. Here. Oh, I lost my picture again. This little guy is going to sprout right out of his side. I think I'm going to put that's not going to be too good to put glue on or adhesive like that. So let's just put a little glue on it. These are a little chunky. I've had these for years. How fun to use that. Mm. And we've got the January, December. Oh, I need to put their names on here. Okay, that may be a difference too. We might put that. Or put their little names. The Joanna Joel highlight reel. Actually, let's just put it all down here. Let's do their names right here. Joanna Joel highlight reel. This little sticker set has a ton of stickers. I bet it'll have a couple J's. What do you think? Sure does. Okay. We'll do Joel first. But we won't stick it down when we're going to put that L in there and work backwards. Joel, Joel. I'm not even sure if this is going to be straight. We'll keep everything down here. Love of Pete. Ah! Oh, 
Okay, do we have an and? Oh, but rather we don't. That's okay, we'll figure it out. I think I'll do Joe and Joel. It's shorter. <laughs> Just thank goodness for names that can be abbreviated. And I'll just write and. It's just writing Joe and Joanna. The Joes. Joe and Joanna. I like too black. It's almost too black. I wonder if this would calm it down. Sometimes gesso can calm things down when it's real bright and unwanted. Blop, come on, blop, there you go. Ooh, the pigment's coming off. Gonna have some gray over there. Yeah, that's better. We want them to be the stars, not that name. Now what? Now what are you gonna do with that? Cover it up and throw it away. Oh, I think it hit the basket. Okay, highlight real. N and Joe. Well, I could put that. I could put a little mat on that. I'm just not going to. So there. You can ask for it. It won't matter. That way we keep it all down here. Nothing. Okay, that's not done. A lot real. I do like that over there. Why not? Why not? And over here we'll put January. I'm going to put it, you know, if you put something underneath something, it psychologically says it's not as important. So um, that keeps those guys up and in in front of everything. I I see that, I, not to say Joanne is not important, but it is just a psychological thing to, um, maybe that's why I don't usually do this kind of wonky stuff with, with something underneath because it diminishes psychologically one of the pictures but we're going to give it from her standpoint anyway it'll be okay that'll just look like little no i don't like that at all it's really hard for me to go wonky it just is okay so if i go wonky one thing i'm going to make it smaller That will give it less importance too if it's smaller. Yeah, the thing that I don't like about wonky is then ha but making it a different wonks. Oh my goodness, that's really hard for me. Let's see, we're gonna get start getting all beat up here. Ooh, and I've got that little tag topper in front. Okay, so I don't know if I like this at all. This may have to be a thought later because I, I want that guy showing because of the color. So I don't want that color down here though. Put that on his mustache. <laughs> yeah, because so it's a little hard for me to do wonky that um, and then have several layers of or different wonkies, you know, just so that they're still not parallel. <laughs> and um, like this guy's pretty parallel with this and that makes me okay. I'm okay with that. And then this guy is parallel with this, and this guy's parallel with this. But then if you have more going on, it just gets chaotic in my little head. And um, I get a little nervous. But, you know, I think I'm going to wait on these. There's nothing that says I have to do that. And another one of the... You're not going to like this one, Sue. But one of the trends is to do a small bit of 
a small bit of journaling by, uh, I don't want to write on here, so we're going to, I don't know, but I'm not going to, actually I'm not going to decide right now, I'm going to think about it, but is to do some lines and do a small bit, like three or four lines, handwritten small letters of journaling. Anyway, I'm okay with this for the night. I think that's okay. I think we got some some kind of cool things going on. And, um, oh, wait, we got this. We got to put some thread on here. Some messy bun time. Especially this girl. She is like the queen of messy buns. So let's make a messy bun. A lot of times what they do with messy buns, and see, I don't usually use this on a layout, is where there's a space. Just looking for a space and you need just a little interest and filler to uh, be an eye catch. And so that would be a great place for a little, a little messy bun because it was just sitting there and they really didn't have much, much going on. And so we'll make another messy bun. Maybe down here, just stuff that under there. And I can deal with the um, adhesive tomorrow if it doesn't, if it doesn't act nice. Okay, that's two. Maybe one more little messy bun because I like threesies, threesies. And we want a little triangle. There's, I'm getting a, I'm not doing a triangle on several things here, and that's okay. Kinda. <laughs> so we'll just stick one up here. And these aren't, uh, I can always trim their little hairs too, so it's okay. Come here, baby. Get your little messy bun in there. So there, we got some messy buns. I may trim them up a little bit, but there we go. I'm happy with that for the night. I think that'll be good tomorrow or next week. Then we'll do page two and I'll get some pictures. I want some black and white, so I need to find somebody to do black and whites for me, but Generally, trend right now, those are black and white. I didn't have that from Costco, and that was what I had to work with. Um, and remember, we cut those. That was one picture. I cut it down into two. Um, the other page, let's see how it's drying. This one's going to be the, um, I may add a little more vivid blue to it. Now that I see it, it's, I think I, I want to add a little more vivid, more vivid blue. And then this will be the... Um, info page and I will keep all my bin stuff together and um, we'll call it a night. All right. I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. That was fun actually. That was a lot of fun and I, I wouldn't want that for all of my pictures, all my pages, but for this I think it's a great, a, a great little exercise in creativity and will be a great wrap up for the year. Artistic. Very artistic. Those, and then of course you can add some more um, this would look pretty with silver paint or silver ink splatters, or you'd want to cover your pictures first, or um, some little gems or some stickles or something like that. Clear stickles would be pretty too, but remember you, you always look work um, large to small. Um, as far as the process goes for scrapbooking, I really didn't do that much differently. Um, I had a plan. I knew what I was doing. That was the, that's the big overthinking part. They've already lived. I need some information from them. I built my kit with my paper colors and my paints knowing what I needed. Prototype, I had it sketched in my mind. Next week will be, um, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Now, usually I'm trying to cram eight pictures into a page. <laughs> and so this is kind of odd. Um, prototypes, we'll do that more next week with the information pages. A foundation, we used a foundation to decide where we were going to put our paints. Uh, photos, I need to get some. Now I know that I need to work with that. Uh, photo titles, we did a title um, with a trendy, smaller print, not the biggies. Um, but that'll change too. Embellishments, I haven't, I did some very little. But, because I can't do the five pound page. Oh my gosh, I'm just not going to do it. My, those books get heavy anyway. So, okay. Trends come from the industry. You get to do what you want. That's kind of what this whole story is. Um, it, you can go from as simple as a printed page or even order a snap or book, you know, with, with it has photos already in it. 
Um, you can go super simple to pretty artistic like this. Um, I didn't buy anything. I just pulled from old stuff. Um, just because it's shiny and new doesn't mean it's better and greater. So uh, you may have what you need. Um, and if you don't... I don't have a dog in that fight anymore, in that hunt anymore. So I have nothing to sell or um, to use for that. I just like scrapbooking because I really like having scrapbooks. That's This is fun, but uh, it's hard to get to. It really is. It takes some effort. So if you're going to do it, oh, that one has a nice little piece. I might use that. If you're going, oh, I really might use that. I think I will use that. I just found this little piece of this paper that I just cut. I think I'm going to. Just add a wee little bit to the bottom of highlight reel, and it will look, I think, just grand. And then we've got one more little piece of it. Add that right up here. And then we've got some triangle things going on better, which makes my soul happy and me sleep better. And you know, I'm a good sleeper. Okay, I'm good with that. All right, yay, <laughs> yay for scraps. But um, didn't take much, didn't take much. You can do quite a bit with very little. And uh, think about your year, that's all. Just think about your year and uh, what you might want to, how many cat pictures you can get out of your year. <laughs> this was my cat in January. This was my cat in February. That's still fine, it really, really is. And um, I love looking at my old cat pictures and things. I had some real good friends that were felines. Everybody, assume the position. Kiss your brains, or as Karen Bar Boyce would do. <sighs> um, she was a nut. What a fun lady. I'm going to do the outro. We will see you Thursday, I hope, for our first Cards Plus. Talking about color theory and Christmas colors. Hmm. wonder what she's going to do. You'll find out Thursday. Thank you. Appreciate you. Take, take care. Stay, stay safe and love you much. Bye-bye.